Hey guys, um, just wanted to show you a, uh, I guess my version of the micro survival kit. Uh, it's not so micro, it's, uh, this is a, um, OtterBox case for, uh, smartphones. And, um, I've kind of, I guess you could call it modify, more so destroyed. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is... This is not something that like stays in my vehicle or, you know, there's other kits and bags that are more practical for that. Uh, the only thing I would really consider this other than just being something I wanted to do would be for uh, <clears throat> maybe a uh, uh, canoe trip or hiking trip, short distance or something that, um, you know, that may come up. But... Um, Anyway, most likely canoeing or rafting or uh, some kind of trip like that where you don't want to carry a huge bag, but, um, you know, just kind of have something just in case. So, uh, first off, uh, every square inch in this thing is filled up. So, um, I wanted cordage. I wanted my, my whistle. Uh and so it it's all got stuck on the outside um i've got this velcro wrap here uh mainly to keep this tight just to make sure it's got that watertight seal um and then that and the uh, bungee cord as well um uh, maybe for strapping to uh canoe or um whatever but anyway that's just there no big deal um nothing real important so I'll kind of uh, just talk about things as I unpack and I'm really not gonna like putting this all back in there because it's really very tight in there um, this case had a kind of two compartments on one side it had um, it had a mesh liner that you could pull out and it, it would kind of hold stuff in there to keep it away from your phone and kind of give you a little divider. Um, the hooks on it got in the way of a, a little tin I have in here so I just cut them out and I scraped a bunch of rubber on there that was supposed to hold things in place. Scraped it all out so anyway this is basically uh, what you're getting sure I open this the right way I can't remember which which side okay so you can see here where I scraped all that rubber off I literally needed every bit of space I could it would would have been great if this was squared and not so rounded in here you lost quite a bit of space and there are a few things I wanted to put in here that I couldn't uh, because I needed that extra square inch uh, but anyway so what I've got um, a couple alcohol prep pads for fire starter um, not really for any kind of wound because if you really wound yourself a micro survival kit is not really going to help you um, but uh, a signal mirror I haven't taken the cover off yet just want to keep that protected uh, Fresno lens it's kind of beat up but I think it would work um, mint, a micro bic, um, a uh, magnifying glass. In case the Fresno is not good enough, I really, I guess that's a little too redundant. But um, a little super glue, dollar fifteen quarters. Um, and this is not wilderness specific it's just as much stuff as I could put in this little thing uh, hot melt glue that you can use to glue something together with uh, this is a cool little flashlight this is uh, made by mech army I think you can read that um, MEC uh, army and uh, it's it's really very bright um, it's uh, I, I think it's 130 lumens 
Uh, it's got two modes. Let's see, that's one. Oh, there's the bright one. Okay, yeah, that's 130 lumens. Um, I can't remember what the, the lesser one is, but it, it takes an extremely small battery. I can't remember the name of it. You could probably look it up pretty easy. Um, but what's cool is the battery comes on, on this side, but um, it's a lithium battery. So you, this is a micro USB charger, so you can recharge that battery. I've got two other batteries that I cannot find. I think I can fit them in here, but at least it's rechargeable. And um, if I need to, I can recharge it. I'll show you my charger in a minute. Little uh, cotton ball. It's a micro pin. Also got refills in there. So a micro pin. Um, okay. So here's the tin. Um, this came obviously from uh, my through night tin. Uh, T10T and uh, it's probably the coolest flashlight that I've ever had uh, it's made out of titanium super strong came with an extra button not just the button rubber that usually comes with them but uh, came with a whole button unit and uh, I may do a review on that I'm not gonna try and get big into reviews or anything but uh, I probably will because I've carried this a lot and it's just uh, just awesome fast flashlight but this is the tin that it came in um, try to keep this sealed because the stuff that's in here I do not want getting wet now obviously this otter box is supposed to be um, watertight however I do have a lot of stuff in there so you kind of have to squish it down a little now that uh, electrical tape, obviously you can use that for tinder. Um, it's flammable. Okay, on the back side, a little bit of electrical tape, also flammable. I think I got like 12 bucks here. No big deal with a little cash. Um, Oasis water tab tablets. I think this will do two liters. It's written on there somewhere. I think one tab per liter. Um, anyway, they're super small. Um, dental pick. Uh, striker for matches, these stormproof matches. So, uh, soon two, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, anyway, it's a really good quality um, compass. And when you're when you're buying a compass, buy something good. Uh, I've seen some in the stores where uh, seen a package of like 10 button compasses and I held them flat and they were all pointing different directions um, so the soon to or sun to uh, it's a pretty good brand um, and it's 17 bucks for that little thing but uh, why buy something that doesn't work especially something like that that you know if you use it you really need it um, yes there is a 22 revolver in here um, five shot American arms uh, 22 I took the scales off to to make it fit um, really didn't like them anyway this is not very accurate um, you just can't get accuracy with that smaller caliber, that shorter barrel. Um, but uh, that is loaded with five bullets or rounds in it. And then I have five extra rounds there. Um, Gerber clutch. Actually, I better just say that real quick. Um, this is for self-defense. Um from zero to 15 feet away I think 15 is probably pushing it like 12 feet and you know I, I don't want to get in the big argument about is 22 
um, caliber big enough. I remember a story from uh, Canada years ago. A, a boy had killed a like a nine or ten foot black bear um, with a twenty two. One single shot had had killed it. So um, anyway, it, something's better than nothing, especially when you can conceal it as much as you can. Something like this. This fits in my change pocket on my jeans. Um, okay, Gerber clutch. Um, pretty neat little multi-tool um, I like the Gerber dime too but uh, this one I like the spring it's got a little knife um, and anyway it's a good little multi-tool cotton ball some wire that's, that's not for snaring if you're planning on snaring uh, you need a giant roll of strong wire uh, don't don't think you're gonna go snare some animals with uh, three feet of wire. Anyway, it's just not practical. But that's just for cordage, just for tying things. This is the refills to that miniature pin. Another match. Uh, novelty item, I guess. A little uh, uh, figurine of William Wallace doesn't really focus anyway I got that in Scotland um, went to the Wallace monument it was pretty cool um, razor blade two uh, quick tenders and one thing to think about is if you if you need to use these you don't have to use the whole thing you can cut a piece off and uh, fray it and and make them last longer uh, now here's the charging this is a uh, anchor. This this will give my Note 3, uh, Samsung Note 3, about maybe half a charge. Um, but I can take the little cord for it, the mini USB, to either charge my phone, give it a little boost, or I can charge that battery back up in my battery. Um, probably a bunch of times for that little bitty battery. So that'll give me a lot of light. And then in this, I've got a couple fishing jigs, um, a little WD-40 on them. WD-40 has uh, fish oil in it, which is what helps it displace water. So uh, the fish oil kind of attracts them. And uh, anyway, so a few fishing lines. Uh, in the bottom of this, a little bit of uh, all-weather paper. I guess you can call it right in the rain. In the bottom, some more duct tape with uh, needles, needle threader, uh, a couple safety pins, and then obviously I can use the tin for um, making char cloth or something. Now, uh, Ready Man, you can go to Ready Man website and pick up these. I know nothing about lock picking; it's something I do want to learn. Also, Ready Man has this. Um, <clears throat> It's got some snare keepers on there. I don't know exactly how they work, but uh, the biggest thing I liked was the fishing hooks on it and the little, uh, like the frog jig and little uh, spearhead if you're trying to spear a few fish or something. It's got some little needles um, and uh, the saw is kind of pointless. That probably would never do anything. But uh, I think the fishing stuff on it's pretty cool as well as the little spears and uh, I don't know if you can see that but this this big one is is three spears on it I guess it's more like a frog jig um, maybe a little helpful cotton um, napkin bandage sugar to go with my coffee that came out of a MRE um, moist towelette, salt and pepper, um, a little uh, electrolyte drink, kind of like Gatorade, military's version, I guess. A um, little Advil, um, one of those gimmicky um, wallet tools. It's actually pretty sharp, and the uh, the saw in here is actually pretty sharp too. If you're needing to notch any little sticks or something. Um, other than that, 
It's got a can opener and a bottle opener, so it may, may be a little handy. Um, got a small ferro rod, uh, or fire steel, some people call it. Um, and then the blade, a jigsaw blade, um, what you can actually do is uh, use that with your multi-tool and uh, kind of notch it up in there. Let's see, maybe it worked better on the other blade. Um, yeah, kind of have it notched up on this top side to where your pressure is keeping both sides and it gives it, well, I had a different blade in there worked better with. But uh, you can actually saw pretty good like that um, for what this kit is. I mean, obviously nothing's going to be uh, that spectacular. And then uh, that's pretty much it. A um, little bit of electrical tape there. So, uh, and then have the whistle on the outside. Um, and then probably about 25 feet of this uh, jute twin, which could also be used for fire starter. And then about 10 feet, 10 or 15 feet of paracord. Uh, tons of uses for that. And then this is about 15 feet of Kevlar cord. And it's very small, but uh, it's 450 pound test. Um, I think they call it uh, survival cord or something but um, anyway uh, that's it um, and obviously the key pieces in here uh, to me that are going to be the most useful or helpful uh, or logical uh, are going to be a um, little cash basically what's in this thing the the, the matches the gun uh, the charger or the external battery um, my compass um, and uh, so that's basically my kit this thing measures about four inches uh, by about six to seven inches I don't know exact dimensions but uh, I had to cut off these little hooks that were here on both sides there are four hooks that held a uh, rubber mesh so you can have a compartment here and keep things in and have a phone or something over here now, obviously that was in the way of sliding this thing down in here and it just fits perfect um, and then I can get everything else on the other side so that's my little micro survival kit um, I bought a bunch of extra stuff that never did fit in it um, but really wasn't real necessary and um, so anyway that's uh, that's what it is basically um, these uh, OtterBox cases come with these uh, I'm gonna call them belt loops because I, I think that's what they are um, but you can't get a thick belt in there it's it's, it's pretty small um, and so that was a, an, another reason for putting this uh, cordage on the back was I can pull some of this up and slip uh, my belt through it and just have it on there pretty tight. Um, <clears throat> if you got a, a small thin belt, um, it'll probably fit, but it'll probably be one of those cheap leather ones um, that you're probably not going to have in the first place on a uh, hiking, camping, canoeing trip or something. Um, Probably, if you've got a webbing belt, that would probably fit if it's like one of those uh, military ones um, with the little shiny buckle. Um, <clears throat> probably not one of these newer ones that are, uh, I can't remember what they're called now, like riggers belts. I don't, I don't think those would fit, um, but that was uh, another purpose for that cordage. And... Um, and then I got a little, this otter box comes with that strong rubber tie down, I guess you could say. Um, and then I just threw a little carabiner on there. Um, 
so basically you got a lot of options as far as tying it down to a canoe or uh, tying it down to your belt and then pulling something over on your leg but uh, I thought I'd add that in there real quick